Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my January update for the 365 Days of Lippies Challenge that was started by Jessica Lee. I do have her link down below, as well as a playlist of everybody else who is doing this project. There are people here on YouTube, as well as over on Instagram. If you guys missed my previous update where I did introduce this uh, challenge, I will put that down below as well and up here on the screen. So the basic gist of this is to wear a different lip product for every day of the year. I did tell you guys last year that I don't have 365 lip items, thank goodness, but I do have a lot of lip products that I do want to try to get through in this project. I have started off working on my bullet lipsticks and then I have 130 something liquid lipsticks and I need to get through all of those as well. For right now, I am not putting in any of my lip glosses. Um, I tend to go through lip gloss pretty quickly, so I am just working on one at a time. That may change uh, later in the year, I'm not sure. And then I'm also debating uh, whether I should put in my lip pencils or not. So let me go, let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see me put my lip liners in here. And if you do, I will put them in this project as well. So um, I have been working on this for the past, what's today's the 24th, so every day this since the beginning of January, and I haven't missed a day yet, I've been able to work on 24 different lipsticks, so I'm excited about that. Um, if you guys are not following me over on Instagram, I'll put my handle up here on the screen. I am updating it on Instagram every week. What I'm doing is I am putting up an update that shows uh, which lip color I'm wearing on what day, and then I also put up some pictures of looks as well. But I am combining that with the 365 Days of Eyeshadow Project pan. So on my, all of my swatches on my hand, you will see I have all the lipsticks on one side and the eyeshadows on the other. I do have them all numbered, and then I put looks up and I do put on the picture, like this is day 14, so you can go down and see what lipstick I'm wearing and what eyeshadow I'm wearing for that day. So if you guys want a more detailed look at all of that, be sure to follow me over on Instagram. For this update, I will try to put some pictures up here on the screen as well when I talk about certain lip colors, but I am not taking selfies every day. That is just not me. That is not something that I do. Um, I do try to take a picture of a look that I do when I'm filming or if something turns out really nice, then I will take a picture, but I'm not a selfie all the time kind of person. So before we get into the update, let me tell you what I'm wearing today. For the eyeshadow uh, challenge, I am wearing this one by Too Faced. This is a strawberries and champagne um, liquid, not liquid eyeshadow, glitter shadow, whatever you guys call these. So this is the one that I am wearing today all over my eyelid. So this one is really pretty and um, I've been enjoying wearing these Too Faced ones. Well, a lot of them I haven't tried out. So this is a fantastic project for me because I have a ton of stuff that I haven't tried out. And then for the lips today, I'm wearing this Too Faced lipstick in Get Your Freak On. And it is this beautiful color right here. This was a bit of a mess, me putting it on today. <laughs> you would have think I've never put a uh, lipstick on before because I made a mess. I kept going outside my lip lines. And then every time I tried to clean it up, I would smear it even worse. It was a mess, so <laughs> that's user error. That isn't the lipstick. I love this formula. I do have five lipsticks from Too Faced. This is from their Sweet Peach line. These smell like peaches. Beautiful formula. I've loved every single one of them. So let me go ahead and get into some of the lipsticks that I've tried the past um, month. Like I said, I have 24 of them here. I am gonna try to update this project every day on the every month on the 25th. So I chose out 25, the one I haven't had a chance to wear yet, because this is gonna go up on the 25th, so I'm filming on the 24th, is this NYX Super Clicky Lipstick in, in the red. It is this one right here. I have not worn this one yet. I was left with these two as the final two <laughs> that I uh, chose out randomly. So I figured that this one would go a little bit better with the eye look that I'm wearing. I probably would have chosen a neutral color, but these are the only two that I had left to choose from out of the box. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I did try two different lipsticks that I thought were more of a tinted lip balm than actually a lipstick. The first one is this Paracomb MD. It's called the No Makeup Lipstick. And it looks like this, and when you put it on, 
it is the most sheer, like I said, kind of a tinted lip balm. So I would not call this one a lipstick, um, even though they call it a no makeup lipstick. I, I just would put this under tinted lip, lip balms. So um, just for, so you guys know, if you ever are interested in this, these are what these look like. Um, not my favorite. I don't really like the color as well. It's just an okay color. I will use that one up as just a tinted lip balm and knock that one on out. And then the other one that was kind of like that is this Helen E. Cosmetics. This is in the shade Caribbean. Again, not my favorite color. It's a very kind of salmon-y color. And again, this one felt more like a tinted lip balm as well. So very moisturizing, um, but I don't know. It seemed... It didn't quite seem like a lipstick to me. So there's a swatch of that one. So I'm glad I'm trying these out because like I said, I really haven't tried them out, uh, a lot of these out. I only tend to wear the lip products that are in Project Pan. So if they're not in a project, I don't wear them. So I'm really grateful that I have this project to work on. I did try out one of the NARS lip, lip pencils, lip crayons. I never remember what to call these. I do have four of them. I do have two in other Project Pans. I did mean to tell you guys if I'm working on a lip product in a Project Pan, I don't put it in here because obviously I'm wearing those. The point of this is to wear everything that you're not touching to try to get uses out of those. So I did wear this one. This is in the shade Damned. I did really like this one and it is a beautiful color right here. I do enjoy these NARS lip crayons. However, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of lip crayons. Uh, once they're gone, I don't know that I would buy any more. I did wear this Marc Jacob one right here. This one is in the shade Plum and Get It. This one stayed on my lips so well. This one did not budge. I ate dinner and when I went to go reapply my lipstick, it still looked beautiful. It wasn't missing like in the middle um, the way a lipstick typically would after you eat. It was fantastic. Okay, I'm not going to talk about all 25 of the or 24 of the colors I tried. Let me just hit on a few of my favorites. I did try this uh, Bare Minerals. Um, lipstick. I forget what shade it is in. Oh, this is in Petal. This was beautiful. I would put this in a project today if I could to pan it. The formula was great. There's not that much product in here. It is a smaller sample size. This formula was amazing. I also have loved every single one of these Too Faced lipsticks that I've tried on. Like I've told you guys, the first one is Chill Pill. I'll put a picture up of this one. This color was surprisingly beautiful the way it looked on me. I absolutely love it. This is the swatch of it right here. And then the other one that I absolutely loved that I wore in my video, the Project 10 Uses, the last video I just updated. And this is it right here. It's called Drunk Dial. This one is stunning. So these two right here are two of my favorite uh, lipsticks that I have tried over this past month. The colors were a little bit out there and when I put them on I absolutely loved them. And again this one that I'm wearing today called Get Your Freak On. Love this color. Um, some of them that I didn't really enjoy. I do have three of the Urban Decay metalized lipsticks here. And I think it has to do with the color, not really the finish. They are a very shiny finish. I did enjoy one of them, but the other two, they're just not my favorite. It just, I don't know, it's probably the finish. It, maybe it is the metalized finished is what they are called. I believe it's metalized. Um, this one right here is juicy, and it just doesn't look very nice on the lips. Um, and then is it ready? Is that the other one? Yeah. This one was just okay as well. I think it's just too much glitter and too much sparkle in the lips for me. So those there, I'm trying to think if there's any other things that stood out that I wanted to point out to you guys. Um, not that I can think of, oh, this Trustique one. This was in the shade um, English Rose. This one was beautiful. It is a very deep color and I, I do believe I have a picture of this one as well. And when it went on, it is not as dark and deep as I thought it would be. And it was beautiful. And this is another one right here that I would happily put in a project and work on right now. This is all that's in there, which looks like a lot, but when you turn it sideways and you see how thin that product is, there's really not a lot in here. And so this is one that I think I could put into a product project 
and knock right on out. So I did really enjoy this one as well. So those are some of the 24 lipsticks that I have worked on over the past month. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these away and it is time to draw out some more lipsticks that I will be working on for the rest of January and then all of February. Okay, I cleared up all of those lipsticks and I, of course, as I'm putting them away, I remembered one more thing I did want to tell you guys. This is one of the Urban Decay lipsticks. This is in the shade 66. It's one of their comfort mattes. I believe it's from their Born to Run line or whatever that is called. And this one I tried and absolutely fell in love with. Again, this is number 66 is the name of it. And this is one of those Your Lip But Better shades for me. This one is my perfect shade and I absolutely love this one. That's why I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys about it. So, absolutely love this one. It is definitely one of my favorites. So, let me go ahead and get into what I need to choose. So, I did choose 25 the first round because I knew I wanted to update this on the 25th. So I do need to choose six more shades to get me through the end of January. And then I do want to go ahead and pick 28 shades to get me all the way through the end of February. I think that's just going to work out easiest. That way I'm not trying to calculate how many days are between the 25th of January and the 25th of February, you know, because the, the, obviously the number of days in a month changes. So I'm just going to pick for the entire next month. So I do need to choose 34 shades that uh, will carry me through the end of January all the way through the end of uh, February. However, I do want to finish working on all of my bullet lipsticks together. I do have 11 lipsticks left and I think putting all of these together will allow me to really compare the formulas to one another. I don't want to pull a bullet lipstick that I'm going to wear at the end of February and then I don't remember what all the other formulas are like. I want to put them all together so I can compare them all. Hope that makes sense. So I'm going to automatically roll in these last 11. So let me show you what those are. The first one is a NARS Another uh, Lip Crayon in the shade Walkery. This is it right here. And I will try to give you guys swatches. So this is Walkery right here. The next one I have is a lipstick from um, Charlotte Tilbury. And this one is in Bond Girl. This is the only Charlotte Tilbury product I have. So that's what this one looks like right here. So this is a bullet lipstick that I have. The next one I have, actually two that I have, are again from the Too Faced Peach line. This first one right here is called Breakfast Club. This is a very bright, warm red. I tend to like more cool tone reds, but we're going to give this one a try. And then the next one is called Stop Traffic. Again, that's what this one looks like. And it is this beautiful berry tone right here. You guys can see what colors I am drawn to. <laughs> next one is from Urban Decay, and this is from their Naked Cherry line, and this one is called Cherry. And it is a very deep, vampy looking color. But I bet you that's going to be beautiful. So this is Cherry right here. Next I have one last of the little uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. This one is in the shade Dead Roses. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful neutral. And that's it right there. I do have one from Bite Beauty. Actually, I have two exactly the same. This is Glossé. I know lots of people have this. I have two of these. I figure I'm just going to work on one of them since they're both the same color. Um, I don't see the need to work, start working on two when I have a duplicate. So this is Glossé right there. Then I have one of the ColourPop Lippy Sticks, and this one is called With the Band. And this is the shade. I'm going to start a new row down here. So this one is with the band. Then I have a Shiseido lipstick and this one is in the shade Exotic Red. And this is more of a much cooler tone red than this other one. Actually, it looks more berry. That's interesting. So this is it right here. You can see that other red up there. 
And then this one is from Tarte, and this one is called Beach Babe, and this is one that I have. I have worn this before, and this one is a bit more of a concealer lips type color. It's not my favorite. It is a little sample. I do just need to knock it out. And that's this one right here. And then the final lipstick that I have is one of these Bite. Is this a mousse bouche? It's in the shade Maple. I have used up one of these before um, in the shade, oh, I forget what the name of the shade is. Um, I have used up another one of these that's this size. Um, oh, it's called Chai. But this is it right here, this is Maple. So these are the 11 that I'm gonna be working on. And then when now that I have, will hit every single one of my lipsticks, it'll be time to work on my liquid lipsticks. So I have gone through a bunch of them and I have loaded them up in this box that you guys know I draw out of. Um, I went through and smelled every single one of them, trying to make sure everything is good. I don't wanna pull something out to use it and then find out it is bad. So I do need to choose 23 liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna open it this way so that I can't see into the box to see what I'm drawing, but I do have, what do I have in here? Too Faced, some ColourPop, Ofra. I, I see a, some Dosa colors, so. Let's go ahead and draw out 23. I apologize if this is super noisy. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into what these colors are. Um, let's see, I do have this one from Gerard Cosmetics. I don't have my glasses, so I cannot read this little teeny writing. I will try to uh, put the names up on the screen. How about that? So this is the one from Gerard Cosmetics. It is this beautiful color right here. This one is a ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Halo Effect. And this is it right here. Last time I didn't do swatches. You guys will have to let me know if you enjoy seeing all the swatches. So this is Halo Effect right here. This is another ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in, it's called Swing Away. It is a beautiful red shade. I have never tried the blotted lip formula, but this is the red right there. Let's see what else do I have from ColourPop. This one, this is an ultra matte lip in Sherbert Shop. Wow, this is really pretty. So it is this red right here. You guys, I, I love red lipsticks. I know so many people hate to pan them. I love red lipsticks. I don't know what it is. It seems like everything that I love, everybody else hates. Okay, so a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. This is from their uh, collect, um, collab with Bretman Rock, and this is in the shade Wig. Wow, I love that. Look at how pretty that color is right there. That is stunning. I have this Ultra Matte Lip. This is their collab with Makeup Shayla, and this is called Shade Day. It is a purple. That is a gorgeous color of purple. Right there. Another ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. This one is called Melonade. Another deep red color right here. Another one from ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in On the Grill. This is a pink color. So it's kind of a hot pink right there. So do I have any, yep, another color pop. So this is their Ultra Satin Lip again with Bretman Rock. It's called She Cute. This is more of a neutral color, so it'll be nice to have some neutrals in here. And that's She Cute right there. I think that is all of the Too Faced ones. I mean, sorry, color pop. <laughs> Next, I have one from Ulta Beauty. This is their matte lip cream in Striking. I am working on a 
much lighter pink in my 50 shades of pink uh, from Ulta but this one is a deeper pink this one is so much prettier that other one I'm wearing I'm getting tired of the hot pink lips every time I wear it so hopefully I can get through that one soon and be done let's see I've got a couple from bare minerals this one is called OMG and it is again kind of a purpley color this is it right here this one is Bare Minerals, what is this one called, Shark, something like that? It's a matte, swank, something, <laughs> something along those lines. So, oh wow, this is so pretty. This is it right here, beautiful neutral color. And this is a Bare Minerals Gen Nude, and this one is in the shade Everything. Ooh, this one's a little bit stickier than the others. It's much thicker. So this is it right here. Let's see, then I have one from Dose of Colors and this is in the shade Bittersweet. Again, it's another red. I believe I probably got this one from a BoxyCharm. I don't know that I've ever bought a Dose of Colors lip product. Again, just a brilliant red color. And everything else I have is all Too Faced. So I have this melted latex right here. This one is in Twilight Zone. It's a pale lavender color. Have to see how this one looks. I will wear this one in a video so you guys can see. It may not match my eye look, but this is it right here. I do like to show you guys some of the crazier colors. Let's see, this one is their melted latex in the shade Bite Me. The names Too Faced has and I don't know why I bought all these melted latex. I don't know, I bought them for my fantasy self, I think, but this is Bite Me right here. This is their melted matte, and this one is in hot buttered rum. I believe this was probably a Christmas set. So this is hot buttered rum. I should probably go around my arm since it twists. This one is Cinnamon Bear. We'll put it over here. That way you guys can see it a little better. So this is Cinnamon Bear right there. This next, uh, let's do one more of their Melted Map. This one is in Queen Bee. So this is Queen Bee right over here. And then the last two are their Melted Metallics. This one is called You Better Work. That is really pretty. Right here, I'm excited to see what that looks like on the lips though. And then this last one is a metallic red called Bitch, I'm Too Faced. And that's it right here. So these are the liquid lipsticks that I will be working on mostly for the month of February. So now I have all the shades to work on that uh, for the rest of January and all of February. You guys will have to let me know if you enjoyed this type of update. Do you guys enjoy seeing all the swatches like this? Would you rather I just show you the lip products and just hold them up so you guys can see what they look like in the tube? And do you guys want me to include photos like I did in this one? I'm just trying to get a feedback for what you guys like and what you want to see out of this project to make it a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. So that is everything that I have for you guys. If you haven't already, I hope you please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video, and thank you so much for stopping by.